Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this episode we will make a list of 15 best solo board games about World War II aviation warfare. So let's start. B-29 Superfortress is a solitary game featuring a technologically most advanced bomber of the Second World War. The game puts you in a cockpit of the B-29 Superfortress as you fly your mission over Japan. Your goal is successfully complete 35 missions and return home as a hero. Picket duty kamikaze attacks against US destroyers Okinawa. The game covers a time period from late March 1945 to late June 1945. It is a solitary war game where you as a captain of Fletcher class destroyer fend off kamikaze attacks while performing picket duty of Okinawa. B-17 Queen of the Sky. It is vintage game released in 1981. It is made for one or two players to play. Game recreates the entire bombing mission and uh, aerial combat uh, of the B-17 bombers over Europe between November 1942 and May 1943. Crete 1941 Operation Mercury Game released in 2016, it is absolutely and only solitary game. This game is unique in our list because it is about Abon Assault. As a game quite significantly involves and depends on airplanes, it qualifies for our top. It is an operational level war game of the German Abon Assault on the island of Crete in May 1941. Cosa Lida, released in 2005, uh, it is game which can be played up to 6 players, but it can be played alone as well. Cosa Lida is based uh, on the Hornet Lida 2 game, but it has several new features, like for example, detailed uh, dogfight rules, uh, enemy bandit pilot skill level. And another feature is naval sites. Enemy coast ahead. Dam Buster Raid. Game is released uh, in 2014 and can be played either by one player or up to three players. In this game, player commands a newly formed squadron assigned the task of breaching the dams in the Rue Valley. Game campaign consists of nine historical scenarios. You can play this game single or with teammates. RAF The Battle of Britain 1940. Game released in 2009. It is made for one or two players to play. RAF Battle of Britain 1940 is three games in one about history's greatest uh, campaign. In RAF Lion Classical Original Solitary Game, you control the RAF against the German Raiders. RAF Eagle reverses the solo game. You control Luftwaffe, planning and executing raids against the RAF. So you just flip the map over for the German perspective of the campaign. Advanced rules include high command requirements, uh, deep targets and special rules for JU-87 Stuka dive bombers. Enemy Coast Ahead – The Doolittle Raid Released in 2017, it is made for one or two players to play. Game is about the fast raid on the Japanese islands by American forces during World War II. It is a solitary game where players must organize, equip and train a squadron of B-25 bombers to attack targets. Player is threatened from the air and sea and must do best to strike the Japanese capital avenging the attack on Pearl Harbor. Storm about the Reich 
Released in 2021, it is a solitary war game depicting a Luftwaffe squadron of the FY 190s struggling to deter and destroy the relentless uh, daylight raids uh, over Germany during World War II. The players' individual aircraft, uh, each represented by a sticked block, must confront the mighty combat box formation of the United States Army Air Force, a deadly B-24 Liberator heavy bombers. Series of missions are strung together to make a campaign. Each mission will take a half an hour or a little bit more to play, while the campaign can last everything between 6 or up to 60 missions. B-17 Flying Fortress Lead Game released in 2017 is a World War II strategic bombing solitary game. Player commands 8 Air Force uh, stationed in England, uh, whose primary mission is to destroy the Luftwaffe and ensure security of D-Day landings. Player must target many different types of targets, including airfields, factories, refineries, U-boat docks and V-rocket sites. Reconnaissance aircraft uh, can be sent to improve your aim point and allow you to pick optimal paths to reduce flak damage. I just want to remind you that some of those games you can get on Amazon and if you really want to get any of those games uh, and at the same time support Tank Zone, you can do that very easily by following affiliate links in the description. But we will continue with target for today. Game released in 2017. It is a solitary game that uh, recreates American Daylight's strategic bombing campaign against Nazi-occupied Europe uh, during the Second World War. You are in command of an individual bomber on the individual mission of Hitler's Third Reich. The game is designed to provide players uh, with ultimate gaming experience, uh, depicting the same types of events and decision-making process experienced uh, by our veterans uh, while flying real-life missions. Skies About the Reich Released in 2019, it is a solitary war game about a Luftwaffe squadron struggling to deter and destroy the relentless daylight raids over Germany during World War II. The player's aircraft must control the mighty combat box formation of the United States Army Air Force. The game depicts a desperate air war stretching from the late 1942 to early 1945. Night Fighter Ace Air Defense over Germany 1943-1944 Game released in 2018. It is a solitary game but it can be played by two players as well. It is a tactical level game which places you in a command of German night fight during World War II. Each turn consists of several days, during which a combat mission will be flown from one of many bases in Europe, attempting to intercept incoming British bombers. Interceptor Ace – Daylight Air Defense over Germany 1943-1944 Game released in 2019. It is a great game, but no much to add because Interceptor Ace is based on Night Fighter Ace game system, which we looked at before. Zero Leader. Released in 2021, it is most recent game in our list. Zero Leader is based on the Corsa Leader game, but it has some significant changes. The game focuses on commanding and managing a Japanese aerial squadron in the Pacific in World War II, with aircraft including legendary Zeros, covering the major campaigns throughout the war. 
You will need to select the right set of aircraft uh, on the command in order to successfully carry out different types of mission. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching and following Tank Zone. If you haven't subscribed yet, to go ahead and do it right now. Meanwhile, I wish you a great day, success in the gaming, good health, and I will see you in the next episode.